Hello everyone, it's Lisa from Dana August Nails and welcome back to my channel. Let's jump right into this Christmas look. I've already prepped my tips and now I'm going in with Model 1's 1323 for a full cover of white on this nail. I apply two coats and cure in between coats for 30 seconds and then I apply my Canarine Matte Top Coat which I also cure for 30 seconds and then we jump straight into the nail art. I'm using my dotting tool, the smallest one I own, and this color that I'm going in with is called Christmas Tree and it's also from Model 1's. I think you can get about a pack of like six colors in their Christmas series. I'm not entirely sure because I bought this before, like a year ago. Well anyway, <laughs> I'm, I started off with a dot in the center and then I created a cross, like an X, and then I joined either side together uh, and obviously as you can tell, we're creating a bow. Once the shape, the outline is created, I go ahead and fill that in and cure for 30 seconds. Alrighty, so now I'm taking Model 1's Christmas Tree mixed in with Model 1 Solid Cream number two, a white, to create this lighter shade of green. And now I'm just gonna be drawing the outline of what would be ribbons wrapped around the gift and then the bow tied into the center. Of course, that was just an outline, so now I'm coming in with the full color, and I'm just giving that a fill in, and then we'll be curing that in the lab for 60 seconds. I definitely wanted to a green theme set because I'm trying to, I'm, guys, I'm trying to cover all my bases. This is my first Christmas series. So I want to cover all my bases, fit in as many designs as we can with the Christmas colors. Yeah. The bow was falling a little bit short, so I did decide to add tails, and I'm using my dotting tool again, adding Christmas tree, and I'm just creating the, um, you know, just the odd ends that are left after the ribbons, the tails, as, as I like to call them. I use my dotting tool for a lot of nail art. I don't know, guys, just, I don't know, if you can make it easier for yourself, definitely do that. So now I'm adding a thicker consistency of the Christmas tree mixed with Model 1 Solid Cream number 2 and I'm just outlining that um, ribbon that's wrapped around the gift of our present nail and I actually go in with Christmas tree to create dots, polka dots on that ribbon. I do that off camera, sorry guys. So up next for the second nail in this green nail art series, we're coming in with Model 1's 1343 which is, no, not 1343, 1348 in the black, as well as Christmas tree. Christmas tree is gonna make an appearance in pretty much all these nails, so buckle down. Now we're going in for a blended nail, and the reason I applied the black that way, which I found out later, because this was unplanned, is because I wanted to create a blend, but I wanted it to be sort of slanted. So I'm taking this detail brush, because I actually don't own an ombre brush, except for the one that I made, but I didn't want to use it for this, because I actually got used to blending it this way. And I'm just running the brush across horizontally, and I'm just flicking from top to bottom, and then from bottom to top and it creates a really nice blend and I do about two coats of this blending between coats curing for 30 seconds between coats before I get the blend that I'm really looking for and I love it then I finish that off with a coat of I think shiny top coat from lavender violet yes so I'm taking my IBD boulder gel right I'm going to draw little outlines of ornaments on here and I mean, I don't know why I included this one because you can't really see, but anyway, Shory, I'm moving my dotting tool in a circular motion. And in the next clip, you're gonna be able to see the, the shape. So yeah, look at that. Look really closely, follow that line of light. Boom, there are three ornament shapes right there. Anyway, it's gonna come into view. You, the vision, just the vision's gonna come through, I promise. Okay, so I am excited for these glitters. I'm gonna show you a better clip of these glitters later on. But anyway, coming in, with some fine, like real true to Christmas glitter, right? And I'm sprinkling a little bit of that on that uncured IBD gel. Yeah, I didn't cure that. Once I got those outlines in, I left it as is because it's a thick viscosity. It's not gonna go, you know, far quickly. So then I'm adding this like medium shaped holographic-y, I wouldn't say holographic-y, like mermaid-y type of green glitter. And then I come in with these big chunks of hexagon, almost like a black chrome holographic-y green glitter. 
and boom, then I cure that IBD gel for 30 seconds, a bit of a flash cure. And then I take a dollop of IBD gel and I'm going for a 3D effect for my ornaments. Boom, add in a nice little, mm -hmm, yep, working it in there with the dotting tool, flipping it upside down before I go to cure it in, but I'll show you like a side view so that you can see just how they rise up above the nail. There you go, little, little bump, okay? So now it's all cured, right? And now you can, you can see my ornaments, right? You guys got it. I'm going in with Model 1 Solid Cream and mixed that in with 1323 White. And I'm just creating like little cubes. These are the little top of my ornaments, if you will. You know, where the, where the string comes from so that you can hang it on your tree, adorn your tree with these little ornaments. And I create um, different sort of like yeah, okay, so this string is like short, right? Not a lot going on. That one's like this uh, middle one. It's gonna be like a straight, long, detailed line. And on the round one, which I thought was pretty fun and funky, I did sort of a, like a loop, you know, a little, little loop action. I'm really pleased about these ornaments. And I did go ahead and add like little polka dots along the um, lines of the uh, string that connects the, that the ornaments are hanging from. And I cure that for 60 seconds. And top coat it. Okay, so it's all top coated, right? And then I apply a bit of matte top coat on the ornaments because I want a bit of dimension. So shiny backdrop with, you know, matte top coated ornaments. And it does a really cool thing to the glitter. So you'll, you'll see in the end at the finish look. All right. Nail number three, full coat of Christmas tree. I love this green. It is a true Christmas green. I do about two, maybe three coats, thin coats of this before I get like right into the nail art. So taking a dot in the center, right? And really follow these steps closely because this is the easiest way that I've found to do a peppermint nail. Boom, dot in the center. Line your detail brush. Slant it ever so slightly to create your curves. Move your nail around if you could. I mean, obviously you really couldn't do this with a client, but this is the way that I found to get a really good peppermint nail drawn out, you know, without stamping, without it, you know, just this easiest way that I found to do it. Now, here's the thing with this. I only ended up creating about seven parts and for it to look really uniform, you want about, you want an even number, like four to eight. So I ended up having to like erase like four of them and create like a more even shape. But any which way, this is the easiest way I found to do this. And once you've got your outline, go ahead and fill that in with my go-to mixture of 1323 white and Model 1 Solid Cream number two, also in a white, just so I can get the thick consistency I'm looking for with my painting gel. And then I cure this for a full 60 seconds before I do anything else. And that's my peppermint nail, guys. Dead center. I love how this nail turned out. What are you guys doing for Christmas? I'm not decorating, but I as I am, it's gonna be making me a feast, y'all. It's the least I can do, right? Okay, so now I'm taking that same mix that we used on the present nail, Christmas tree mixed with white, and I'm just adding a little detail, little fine lines in between those peppermint white stripes. And I'm taking this mix. This mix is an interesting mix. It's top coat and rhinestone sticky gel because I wanna make sure the next thing that we do sticks really well to this nail. Wait for it. Boom. We gonna be doing some sugaring. I am so glad that I found this glitter because I see um, Tao from Not Polish using it all the time. And I was like, I gotta have something, right? And I do, and I had something, and it's like, it's it's holographic, it has the green highlighted, so perfect. I cured this for full 60 seconds. And it's worth mentioning that I top coated that nail before I did the sugaring work. So did, did you guys peep those glitters? Yeah, same glitters I'm using throughout this entire set. So I've applied four, 11, 1448, the black from Model 1s, on about three quarters of the nail, right? Did a little bit of a janky little effect. It is uncured. Yeah, didn't cure that. Sprinkle in those fine glitters, and I'm using my jewelry picker, which BT Dubs is great for picking up chunky bits of glitter and applying them. And I'm going in with the bigger pieces of my hexagon glitter, that black, like, 
greeny, holographic-y, chameleon, shift change glitter. And then I'm coming in with the like medium, hexagon, mermaidy glitter. And I'm going to like stop at some point and be like, oh, okay, let me show the camera because this is all the glitter that I'm going to apply. Yeah, don't need any more than that. Do you see? Do you see? Lies because I went glitter crazy off camera, as you can see. So I mixed in Christmas tree with a bit of top coat to create like this really sheer and then I'm spreading it all over that glitter because I want to like introduce a different kind of a color shift. A color shift where it's like different shades of green. I was super pleased with this. I bring it down past the black a little bit and then I cure for 30 seconds. Check it out. Boom, baby. Coming in with my Canarine matte top coat. I'm excited about this. I'm sorry if this is hard on your ears and I'm yelling, but I'm really excited about this set. So now I'm coming in with my white mix again, right? Doing a dot in the center, doing a dot to the up right corner, one down to the lower left corner. Why? Because we're gonna do those twinkly little stars. Mm -hmm. So because of my like OCD and I'm tired at this point, I'm taking my detail brush and I'm just going from drawing right, pulling from the dot on the right on all of them, then pulling from the center dot on the left on all of them, and I'm creating my twinkly. My twinkly little stars happen to have about eight stems each, and no, crazy. Now, in the center, I'm going in with some rhinestone because of gel, because I'm gonna add a rhinestone. Yeah, okay, three rhinestones in the center. Okay, guys, this is the end of the video. I'm gonna leave you a finished look you know, video photo wise, okay, product list below. Gonna remind you to like, share, comment, subscribe if you will, I would love that. Also, follow me on social media, right? Yeah, why not? More looks to come. I love you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys. Promise to see you in the next one. Bye.